Hello, let's talk about image search with Google. You can search for images directly in the Google search engine, but it is more comfortable after typing a word, for example, Polytechnic, University of Valencia. The same one that puts in Spanish, suggest it to us. Once we have done the search, we go here and look for images. Well, here we have the images. Well, it tells us that they have cookies out. Here we have, as always, a search tool that is here, where it allows us to select large size images. Medium size. Icon size, for example, here we have an icon of social networks of the UPV. Although it is clear that with an image editing tool, with a large image, we can easily make a small image, but we can search for a smaller image. It also allows us of a size larger than a given size. For example, if we have to fill a web cover or print the photo and we need a minimum resolution, we can choose here. Or if we want an exact size, we can also here. An important thing is that the filter remains fixed. So from now on, everything we do will be on medium size images. If we want to remove it, we have to go here to delete. We have the images here again. We have removed the tool, uh, which is a bit of a rigmarole, but good. We can also for a color, full color, black and white, for example, or a dominant color. What can this be good for? For example, let's put nature. And let's suppose that we have an image, a website, we want an image. Our website is red dominant or orange dominant. So we look for images with a red dominant color, and here we already have them. Well, passing over the images, we see where they come from and what size they are in case we are interested in knowing the size. Then we can, we are going to choose images of any date of the last 24 hours of the last week, or if we want, we are looking for a photo that has just been produced or that has been generated in a custom interval. We also have type. The type can be face, photograph, clip art, for example, a nature clip art. It would be a cartoon or line drawing. This can come in handy, for example, to search for, well, we also have even animated images. Would they be animated GIFs or I don't know. This can come in handy, for example, if we're looking for pictures of Norman Foster. We put Norman Foster, the architect, and we will see his buildings, his faces, but if we want his face, it is very easy to go here. Well, as you can see, we still have images with dominant red. If we remove the filter, we have here buildings and faces of Norman Foster. Here Google proposes us a series of photos that it thinks we may be interested in, and then the ones from the search appear. And here we can go to, within search tools, type face. And in principle, sometimes Google is wrong, but normally we get only faces of Norman Foster. Here they are. Very good. Then another thing that was a little bit hidden before, we're going to put back any type. One thing that was a little bit hidden, but they've already taken it out of the bar, is the usage rights. We can search for Creative Commons licensed photos. Both the broader ones, those labeled for reuse with modifications, labeled for reuse, but you cannot modify them, or you cannot make a commercial use. Here you have different filters that will cut the photos. Then, finally, we have a tool that allows us to show the sizes on the photo. So if we want to see several photos and choose one or the other, we would have it here. If we want to see images similar to a given one, this has changed a little bit, the Google interface. We have to click on it and the larger image will appear. And here we will see related images that are similar images. And finally, we have the search tool. Well, we can search by voice. But what we're looking at here for image search is this image search tool that here we can either or upload one or paste a URL of an image that we want to take and make similar images or upload an image by selecting a file or just with another window, for example. We could go here to see a sample image. So we could take this image of the penguins and drag it over the window and Google will search for similar images. We are going to see it and here we have the options that Google has found for us. And with this, I finished the image search polymedia with Google.